to lose, you live to win. Keep an argument, but you can't come in. Hi everyone, my name is Live to Win, and I'm here today to show you how to download and install Payday Mods into the game. And it's very simple, very easy, not a whole lot to do. Just gotta find Payday 2 in the uh, app of your Steam app. Uh, once you find it, just right click, and right at the bottom there's Properties. Click on it. You should see this. Go to Local Files, Browse Local Files, and here is your Payday 2 directory. Now everyone's different, so the reason why I decided to do that is because sometimes if you find it uh, manually, you might get lost into where it's located, especially since I installed it onto my D drive. Normally, by default, it's on the C drive. So, in order to not create confusion, I figured this would be the best way because no matter where you installed it, that's what is going to pop up no matter what. So, this is where the game is installed, and that's just going to make all of our jobs a lot easier. So, with that, we could then move on to actually finding and, and installing our mods. So first things first, uh, you need something to kind of help uh, acknowledge the mods in the game. And there's a mod for Payday 2 called BLT. Now there's an updated version, so you do need to make sure that you go with BLT 2.0. So make sure you get that. Go to BLT 2.0 for Payday Mods. It's the second choice. All right here's the download page. So just click on where it says download. And there it is right there. So that large green, just click on it. It's installing, boom, there you go. So that's what you need to help uh, acknowledge mods in Payday 2. And this one's optional, it's not a must, but it is something you can go with. And that's uh, Payday 2 uh, Beardlib is the name of the mod. It's not a must, it's optional, but some mods do need it. So I just wanted to point that out uh, for this whole uh, thing, just in case if uh, you don't know which mods need it. Uh, so just in case if a mod's not working for you, this may help out. So the one I'm going with is the one on the bottom here, or uh, second choice. And you should get this, Beardlib. Go with uh, Clone or Download. Click on it, should install, so there it is. And then finally, all we need now is uh, Wolf HUD, which is what I'm going to, it's a mod I actually use, and it's a cosmetic mod, it just uh, changes your HUD is all. So, it's a mod I actually use, and it's what I'm going to use for an example here. And I'm going to go with the second choice, or uh, excuse me, first choice here. And we're going to go with that first one, click on it. Same as last time, clone or download. Make sure you download as a zip. So there it is. Okay, so this is my downloads, and this right here is my directory. So, now all we just need to do is just take the BLT2, 
Make sure everything's highlighted. Click on it. Make sure everything's highlighted. Right click, copy, and make sure again, nothing is highlighted. Should copy in and that's what it should look like. And don't mess with anything. Just leave everything as is. So now that we have a mods folder, we just double click on it. Just leave it right there. And then go to whatever mods that you're using. In my example here, I'm going with Beardlib and the uh, and Woofud. So just highlight what you're, whatever you're gonna go with copy it and then simply paste and you're good on that front and then just go to your mod double click make sure it's highlighted right click go to copy Uh, I'm a little obsessive compulsive when it comes to stuff, so I sometimes do it twice. And then, uh, again, just right click, paste, and you're good to go. So now, let's see if uh, the mods went through. And just play the game. Okay, so I'm just starting up the game just to make sure that everything is uh, in order. And everything's good to go here. Uh, one good sign is I am seeing this saying that uh, everything's up to date. None of your mods need to be updated. But just to make sure, let's go to options, BLT mods, and this is what it should look like. So over here we have uh, WoofHUD. I do notice that there is uh, options to update WoofHUD. Uh, I would recommend just sticking with the actual site and not the uh, in-game update because uh, what will happen is if you have a uh, new version of Payday and a old version of WoofHUD, what happens is things are taken out, things are added, and basically what will happen in the process if everything is not up to date your game will crash because it has old information in there. Uh, I do know one time I kept crashing every single time I lay down a turret. I had like a turret build. I was seeing how it worked. And every single time I laid one down, uh, it kept crashing. And apparently what happened was is Payday decided to change the... had something to do with the ammo. If you switched over to AP rounds with the turrets it would just crash. Don't know why. So because of that, uh, the people behind WoofHUD, they saw that that little change. So they re-altered everything to make sure it flows with the game and that won't crash. So last I checked, that wasn't a problem anymore, but that was a issue I did come across. So I know a lot of people get the... Uh, swan song uh, crash so but yeah as long as you keep it up to date you're good to go and as we can see here uh, the mod is properly working like how it's supposed to so that's really cool there uh, you should also have a options here mod options so let's go ahead and make one little change uh, just to see how things are here and if you want to see those changes, uh, you have to reset the game uh, as all. And once you do that, it should, uh, your changes should refresh and be to whatever current settings you have them set to. And there you go. So yeah. So everything's in order. Uh, the mod's working properly. So I just want to thank everybody for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, and uh, yeah. So born to lose, live to win. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.